Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Damaris. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram at Hizama. <laughs> I swear he wasn't playing with that until I came on here. So today's video is about uh, pros and cons for Frederick's attacks. <laughs> Freaking Alice. Uh, and this video I'm not really editing much. Just cutting unnecessary parts of it. Let's get started. This one can either be taken as a pro or a con, and it's you're unique. Like, you're different than everyone. Frederick's ataxia only affects 1 in 50,000 people, which makes you, like, different. Like I said, you're involved in a separate community that only you're allowed to, and nobody really understands anything about it which can also be a con because not very many people know about it so there's no cure for it and some people don't know how to help what to help with so it's pros and cons 50 50. another con is I cannot do specific activities that I would like to do. For example, I'm Mexican, born in Mexico, raised by Mexicans, and mostly all my family dances and has fun, and I can't really do that, which makes me feel bad because I'm in the background watching everyone just dance. Take this depressing music off, Damon. <laughs> well, I'm in the background watching everyone have fun and dance and I'm like oh I wish I could do that but I can't and me not being able to do activities goes on to the second con on my list which is I'm not completely allowed to be independent because there's a lot of things that I wish I could do, for example, take care of myself all the time, but me being in a wheelchair, I'm not really able to do that without assistance, so I can't really be independent, I'm more dependent on others, which is kind of sad. Anyways. My next pro is that I'm humbled down because I'm not better than anyone. I'm definitely not. Um, how would I explain that? What do you mean? That I'm humbled down. Give me an example. Like, I said, I don't think anyone's better than me because Everybody is special in their own way. For example, I don't really care about looks or how you talk, how you walk. Anything like that. I care more about you, your feelings, your emotions. And if A taught me how to do that. I met great people, that's another pro. I met the family, which is amazing because they understand me. And they help me go through my feelings, my emotions. They give me hacks on how to do things the correct way. The easier way, how not to get hurt. How to avoid falls. They... They teach me and I teach them, so it's a positive, positive. We help each other out when we need each other. Um, another con is that, and this one, I hate this one. People always stare at me, 
always. <sighs> like, is it my makeup? Is it my wheelchair? Is it my outfit? Is there something on my face? People always stare at me. And it is so annoying. Do you have anything to add to that? What, people staring at you? Yeah, that's a con. Oh, they swear they've never seen a crippled person before. They swear Dama's the only disabled girl out there. And I just want to be like, what? Yeah, like, bro, one time I went to a restaurant. And like, not to be racist, but it was a Mexican re restaurant. And Mexicans really aren't that familiar with disabled people. And I I went to my table with my siblings. Bro, the table beside me, there was a guy that was literally like, like let's say Alice around. crippled, right? He was a, like... Yeah, and then we stared at him, and he still stared at us. He and like, he was, like, right here, like, how Ale is, like, <laughs> it was <so> dude. <laughs> I could feel his stare, like. I just started laughing. I was like, oh, Yeah, geez. we were dying. The guy probably stared more because like, we no were laughing. No, no, so but, like, oh, like, no. And so wheelchair, Google something, Google picture. Don't physically stare at us all the time. Oh shoot, it's about to get real. You get free fast passes at theme parks. For example, I like going to Six Flags and the fair, which is right around the corner. I'm excited. And um, instead of making me wait in the waiting line, they usually always make me go through the exit line, which it's so fast and easy. And I skip the whole line for free. Like, you mean me? Well, when you take me. Yeah, it's me and like all my family. Parking. Parking is difficult sometimes because y'all are going to be like, you're disabled, you, you can park right at the entrance. But sometimes people that aren't disabled have like parked there without any right to park there. Like other people need to spot singles and elevators like. Don't take the elevator if you're not crippled or like pregnant or something like that. Like, I mean, you got legs for a reason. Bro, abled people. I wish I could take the stairs. Abled people go up and down the elevator, fill it up, and then I have to wait. Like, dang, they don't even make room for you. Yeah, like. Can some of y'all get out so I can take the elevator? Because it's actually meant for wheelchair people and pregnant ladies. Like, come on now. Like, and bathrooms. So everybody and their mama takes a big saw. Or like and in I'm the dressing rooms. I'm over here pissing myself. <sighs> And they're taking their sweet time and they're like, oh, Miss Spot, let me wipe again. Like, get out. I need to go to the bathroom, bro. What else? A pro is you can wear any type of shoe. And one, it doesn't really ever get dirty unless I do some weird things. Two, I rarely get tired. Like, my feet don't hurt because, like, right now I'm wearing five inch heels and I'm like, fine. I wore them all day since two o'clock. It's like 11 o'clock right now and I don't feel tired at all. At all. Another con is that 
FA is a degenerative disease. So it's awkward seeing someone after a long time because it worsens over time. So pretty much you could be walking one day and then the next day you'll be in a wheelchair and they'll be like, I thought you were safe, but not that safe. So, so it's kind of awkward. The last pro that I wrote down is we face challenges physically and mentally day to day. So we're actually always prepared for bad situations. Let's say I break my hand. I'll still find a way to do things because that's what I'm trained to do. Like doing things that are harder for me to do but I still want to do them independently so basically I push harder on myself to do things I want to do because my favorite quote says God doesn't put obstacles in your life that you can't handle and that is so true Preach. that is so true like I can handle my disease. Yeah, I break down from time to time, but I push through it on myself. Like, nobody's gonna be like, oh, come here, I'll do it for you. No. You have to get up and motivate yourself and do it yourself. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Oops.